This is an example of a mantle reline for the MP1000 and MP1250 crushers using the crusher nut designed by TriStar Design and Manufacturing. Thank you for watching. We'll take a look at a line of removal that was performed at an Arizona mine in April of 2020. First, we will remove the old crusher nut. Two ways to do this. You can unscrew the push rods from the top. You'd need to remove that lifting jig in order to do that. Or, as we're showing here in the image, you can reach in with the cutting torch and just cut the tips off of those push rods that were put in. There are 16 push rods you would need to cut through. It takes just a few minutes to get that done. Once you've cut all of the tips off, then that crusher nut is loose. Next, you will want to unscrew the crusher nut. With the push rods burned off, it just takes a couple guys with pry bars to unscrew the crusher nut. Keep a little pressure on the crane and it's easy to turn. Take over, Timmy. You may have noticed some of these bolts falling out. When the feed plate was removed, they opted to cut the feed plate bolts off rather than unscrew them. So the threaded inserts fall out when you unscrew the crusher nut. This is perfect. Uh, it's easy to replace those threaded inserts when you're ready to install the new crusher nut. And you just put the inserts in, you bolt the feed plate on top, and you're good. With the crusher nut removed, the liner is easily lifted off of the mantle or the head and can be set aside. With the old liner removed, you want to clean the head off and prepare it for installation of the new liner. Be sure to clean the threads out so that the crusher nut easily threads on. We came back on another day to install the liner. Per manufacturer requirement, remo remove all of the dirt and oil from the mating surfaces on the underside of the liner and then fly it into place with a crane. After the liner is set in place, put the thrust ring on top of the liner. Then with the crane, you will carefully lower the crusher nut into place, getting ready to thread it on. Keep a little tension on the crane while you're threading the crusher nut in place. Line up the threads, turn it. And you'll notice that as you keep tension on it, just a couple of people can use pry bars and get the crush nut down where it belongs. You'll screw the crush nut down until you have a three quarter inch to one and a half inch gap between the crush nut and the thrust ring. Also, make sure that the push rods line up with the dimples that are in the thrust ring. You'll notice we have a gap of about three quarter inch and the push rods are lining up with the dimples in the thrust ring. Everything is set and ready to torque. When torquing down the push rods, be sure to go in a star pattern so that it torques all sides down evenly. And that's it. The liner has been installed. You can now install the backing material and you're ready to finish up the head and put it in the crusher. So let's review the liner removal. We started about 8.20 in the morning. We finished about just under 9.20, so that's a little less than an hour, 59 minutes um, by the clock to remove the liner. On a different day, we installed the new liner. Uh, we started about 8.18 in the morning, finished at 9.12 in the morning, so under an hour, 56 minutes, to install the new liner. Uh, and now that you're ready to put it back into the crusher. At TriStar Design and Manufacturing, we pride ourselves in helping you make your jobs safer, faster, and smarter.